Good morning. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Stop. Good morning, class. Happy Monday. Um, back at the start of another week of distance learning. Um, we finished um, measurement with capacity and length and um, weight and mass. And that was set, that was due on Friday. So um, if you haven't taken that, you need to do it. This um, is a new uh, concept starting today. And you have until, I think, next Friday to get it finished. It's not that long. It's on length, no, sorry, it's on perimeter and area. And you have experience with perimeter and area from the third grade. Okay, so there is a note taker that I'm going to walk you through. We're only going to do one side of the note taker, um, which is actually what I posted in um, Google Classroom, so I'll need you to go ahead and, and stop this video for a minute and uh, um, download that um, print print or download the the note taker, the blank one. Okay. So as soon as you're finished with that, start the video again, and here we go. So we're talking about perimeter and length and perimeter and area. <laughs> length has to do with it, but I keep saying it. Perimeter and area. So perimeter is the measurement around an object or measurement around an object and you're going to that's where that goes right there which says perimeter so it's going to be all the way around the outside of an object so if i wanted to know the perimeter of um of my pool i wanted to know how big around it was then i would measure the outside edges and add them together. That's how we find perimeter. It's just that easy. Two things you need to know, two words you need to know um, besides perimeter and area is length and width. Length is technically your, um, your vertical sides of the rectangle. Width is technically your horizontal sides. Honestly, it doesn't matter that much as long as you have them um, labeled correctly as far as the dimensions go. And that's what we call these right here is dimensions. Um, the length and the width, those are dimensions. So uh, if you look on your reference chart, on the other side of what we've been using is um, there you'll find two formulas. And um, the first formula is perimeter. And the formula for perimeter is, and this is an L by the way, oops, go back, go back. This is an L and it's L plus W plus L plus W. In other words, the length plus the width plus the length plus the width. So you have to uh, uh, measure those four um, have the, the measurements for those four um, dimensions in order to figure out the perimeter. There is another way to do it, and I wrote it a little bit differently than what they have it on the reference chart. I wrote it the way they have it too, kind of small down here, but what it is is you can take, okay, I can see, um, you, well, you can see on your blank one that this, this uh, width is 12 inches, but doesn't tell us what the width on the other side is. But we know it's a rectangle, so these are parallel, and they are the same size, the same length. So that we can figure that out by doing 12 times 2, okay? Um, the, here's the length over here of 8 inches. And so if I know this one's 8 inches, I know this one is also 8 inches, okay? So I can do... 8 times 2, because there's two of them, they're the same, 12 times 2, because they're the same, and then add those together. And that, um, I, I wrote it like this because um, I wanted to, so you know that it's 2 times L plus 2 times W, 2 times length plus 2 times width. Um, the way they have it written out in the, um, um, and on the chart is like this, it's 2L, and it's hard to tell sometimes that that's an L. You might think it's a 1 or an I or something like that. So I'll put a little, little hook a little bit on the end of the L. So it's 2L plus 
2W. And you'll learn this when you get to algebra, that when you have a number beside a letter, it means that you're multiplying those. OK, so that's the reason why I wrote it out this other way, just to give you a little bit more um, explanation with it. So to find out the perimeter of the rectangle, I'm going to add 12 plus 8 plus 12 plus 8. Um, you can add that any way you want to, as long as you get all four dimensions in. You could do 12 plus 12 plus 8 plus 8. Um, or you could do the 12 plus 8 plus the 12 plus 8. Either way, you're going to get 40 inches. So the perimeter of, I guess it looks like maybe a carpet or something, is going to be 4 inches. Or you can use the other formula for it, which will give you the same answer. So, uh, happened again. So you can multiply. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Oops. You can multiply 8 times 2 plus 12 times 2. So I'm going to multiply 18 times 2 and I get 16. And then I'm going to multiply 12 times 2 and get 24. I add those two together and I get 40 inches. Okay. So both of those ways are, um, th that's how you would do it. Perimeter, figuring out perimeter um, with the adding all the sides up is not any different. We're just attaching the formula to it. Okay. So you're going to have to know what the formula is, either this one or this one, and it is on your re your um, uh, your resource uh, uh, med, um, chart, your math chart. Okay, so then we have area. So it's a lot of kids get area and length or area and perimeter confused. You have to remember perimeter is the outside, area is the inside. So let's say this is a carpet, okay? And I want to know how big the carpet is, not how much around it is, but how much it is on the inside. So I can maybe know what I can sit on there or how many kids I can sit on the carpet if I'm if it's in my classroom or something. So um, it's the measurement uh, of the inside of an object, okay? Um, and really, area is easier than perimeter because you're just doing you're dealing with two dimensions, okay? Um, you just need to know the length and the width. Of course, I already know, I already know both of these. So I could still say that's, I mean, I could still have all four of these, but don't try to add these together because you're going to get the wrong answer. We're adding mainly in perimeter, but we are multiplying the area. So I'm going to multiply the length times the width. So I'm going to multiply eight times 12. And if I multiply 8 times 12, I'm going to get 96. Now, here's something really, really important about area. You need to make sure that you do it, uh, that when you answer it, so 8 times 12 is 96, it's 96 square inches. Always use square, okay? Um, I know there's, a, there's one question on the power focus area I've seen that the difference in the correct answer was that one had the answer in square units and the other did not. And it was an area question. So it has to have the square uh, units. It could be, um, could be units if it's, not, if it's uh, nothing specific. Um, it could be inches, feet, um, anything, uh, any, any of our length. Um, it could be meters, square meters, um, square centimeters, whatever. But that's, um, that's how that goes. All right, so... Let's see if we can get the rest of this done. All right, so here's a question for you. What is the perimeter of the bulletin board shown below? Okay, so pause this for a minute. Take a few minutes to see if you can figure out what the perimeter would be and how you know that. Okay, well, the perimeter, remember, is the outside measurement around it's around the object so i'm going to measure the outside parts the length the width the length and the width but of course i know that if this side is 24 inches then this side would be 24 inches and if this side is 36 inches then this side will be 36 inches so 
to figure out the perimeter, we know that we're going to add all four of these sides. And if I add 24 plus 24, I get 48, plus 36, plus another 36. So you should have gotten 120 inches is the perimeter for the bulletin board. 120 inches. Oops. Okay, so here's the work you're going to be doing today, um, just a practice sheet on it. Um, you do not have to uh, print it out. Um, if you print it, you're going to have to print it from the slide because I've, something's weird with Google right now. Um, but anyway, so you can just do it on another sheet of paper the way we've done it. Just recreate it on your, your blank paper. But you're going to need to use a ruler. Now, if you don't have a regular ruler at home, that's okay because if you remember correctly, on your reference chart, there are two rulers. There's a centimeter side and an inches side. And since we are measuring this rectangle in inches, that means you're going to be using the inches side, okay? So measure those to the nearest inch. That means don't put any half inches or quarter inches to the nearest inch. See, you're doing an estimation, basically. Look, look at where it falls closest to. And then, um, so you're going to measure all the sides, put those in. And what did you notice about the side lengths of the rectangle? Um, and what is the perimeter of the rectangle? So you're going to be figuring out perimeter on this one. And then how is this relationship seen in the expression 2L plus 2W, where W represents the width and L represents the length of the rectangle? Basically, I'm... Actually, if you can, number three is going to be a little difficult for some of you, but um, you can also just tell me, you know, how does 2L plus 2W, the formula, how does that, um, how, how does that work with the other perimeter? How come you can use the same, how come you can use the same formula for both of those and get the same answer? So this is just a, um, just a little practice for you to do today, um, and I will be putting another video up tomorrow. So happy mathing, y'all.